Greetings and thank you so much for journeying with us through this week as we've been spending time looking at the scriptures to get some insight concerning the human spirit. God created you as a spirit being. What does that mean? And how can you take care of that spirit, who you really are, and develop that spirit? You see, we know a lot about the body. We know how to exercise the body, take care of it. We know quite a bit about the mind. We know how to take care of the mind. But we must understand about the spirit. In fact, the spirit is the most important part of us. That's who we really are. And what we have been doing this week is looking at pictures in the Bible that give us a little bit of understanding about the spirit. Today, I want to point us to another picture in the Bible concerning the spirit. And that is of a field or a ground. And Jesus referenced this in the parable of the sower, which we're all familiar with. He talked about the sower who went about sowing God's word. And then he said that the seed of the word is sown into the heart or into the spirit. And that is where the seed will germinate and will then grow into whatever it's designed and produce the harvest that is intended to produce. That means the Word of God is not something to be intellectually received, although that is part of the process. That is, we need to understand the Word, but we don't stop there. The Word has been designed for the human spirit. And it's in the human spirit that the word actually germinates. It's the, in the spirit of man that the word can release its power. The word of God is alive and full of power. But for the power of the word to be released, that seed has to germinate. It has to uh, be opened and, 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 and cause to release the potential it carries. And where does that take place? It takes place in the spirit of man, not in the mind of man. The mind is important. Our mind is renewed by the word of God. But the seed of the word germinates in our hearts. Jesus said, the sower soweth the word, and the word goes into our heart. James says, receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save our souls. So our spirit is like a field or a garden, or a ground. The seed is the Word of God. And there are all kinds of seeds in the Bible. Seeds that produce healing, seeds that produce blessing, seeds that produce strength and boldness and courage and anointing, all kinds of seeds. Your spirit is the garden. And you sow the seed of the Word of God into your spirit. And you can have a beautiful garden. So, you can decide to cultivate a beautiful garden or you can choose to ignore the seed, ignore the garden and have a barren garden or one little flower in the garden, whatever. But your spirit is that field. Your spirit is that ground or the garden. The Word of God is a seed. And if you can bring these two together, you can have a beautiful garden and you can produce the things of God in your life as you sow the seed of His Word into the garden of your spirit. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for the truth that You've placed in Your Word. Help us to understand. And as we apply these truths, may we learn how to nurture our spirit so that we truly can be what You want us to be, producing what You want us to produce. For Your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.